So I saw this article in the New York Post. This is the article right here. Let me just make that clear. There is a private island right outside New York with a house on it that you can live on for $13 million. So not a penthouse, not a townhouse. Four months like you're so oh. This is so dumb. Why would you not buy this? If you have $13 million to spend on a house, why wouldn't you get a fucking island rather than like literally uh, a, a penthouse with the size of a butt cheek? Own private island. So we picked the hottest the day in the middle of the summer in New York City to go island hopping. This is going to be... To be fair, this is probably going to be underwater soon, but... Quite the tour. Oh, there she is. This is a marina. You go, stay. Okay, you go. I go, you stay. Yeah. Okay, great. Hello! I love the red! Thank you! I like the blue. Thank you! It's almost as if we planned this, but we absolutely didn't plan this. So how do we how do we get there? We, can we Dude, Sir Hant, Ryan, you gotta fucking figure out your audio, my guy. Your audio levels are so boosted. Drive? Because I brought my escalade with all my stuff. No, we cannot. We must take the boat. So the only way you can get to the place is by taking a boat? It is, yes. Okay, let's go. The home is on Columbia Island. Okay. Um, and about 0.2 nautical miles is basically your beach backyard, which is P.I. So it's a uh, self-sustaining home. Okay. It's a reverse osmosis desalination system. What? Which removes the saline from seawater. Oh, that's sick. So uh, you can all the water in the house the is water and seats. make it fresh, drinkable water. Have yeah. you seen that That's movie Waterworld? So sick. No, I have not. What? <laughs> water? No one's seen Waterworld with Kevin Costner. Okay, we're literally gonna be best friends. Me and Sir Hunt are now best friends. I loved Waterworld. And that little girl, and she's got the tattoo and the thing. I know about it, but I've never the seen it. The whole world is flooded, and they're able to figure out how to live with fresh water by doing reverse osmosis salinization. Yeah. One last question before we get on the boat. What's that? Does Amazon Prime come to this house if it's on its own island? If they would deliver by drone, which I expect to be happening soon. Yes. You can get your Amazon delivery there. All right, let's go. Oh, no. Careful. Hello, I'm Ryan. How are you, Tom? Amazon doesn't have drones, but at least Amazon Prime, connected to your Twitch Prime, allows you to skip the ad breaks at the top of the hour. Because I do have a contractual obligation where I run. A single 60 second ad break at the top. Now, like I mentioned, Twitch Prime is free. This is a good way to avoid the ads and have an ad free broadcasting experience for free. Or you can do it with a $5 a month subscription, or you can do it with an ad blocker or a VPN. Here's the ad break now. That was a good segue. Shut the fuck up, Tatter. This is insane. I'll follow you. Okay. Please, first, see my hand? No, I'm fine, thank you. Do you need mine? I mean, probably. <laughs> <gasps> hey, TR Gooshray, thank you for the tank of the subs. <laughs> okay. We made it. <laughs> Crazy. We are here. Wow. Here comes climate change all the, the way from the top rope. Oh, dude, yeah. There. Yes, there's two separate solar panels. I love this because it's like, this house is self-sustainable until it no longer exists because it's underwater. Well, for, uh, and they generate enough energy to support the house plus store for future reference. This is insane. What happens if your boat runs out of gas? These are the things you need to think about. Have more gas. So then this is Pea Island right here. This is what we were just driving around. Yes. It's so ugly, dude. It's aptly named because it looks like pee pee. What if you could put like a bridge? I have a contractor that says, Miss Patty, you can do anything for a price. So if you comply yeah, I mean, with the building yeah. codes, 
and you've got the resources, I can't see why you couldn't just do whatever you want. Imagine if you had like your own private island, your own private bridge. Come on in. There is 0% chance they would allow you to obstruct waterways like that. No shot. Welcome to the great room. Crazy. Yeah. So this is um, all one big open space. Yeah, it's just big open plan. Uh, okay. We've got a professional kitchen, all stainless. Nice. This is oh my God. ideally. From the outside, it does not seem like it's going to look like this. It's actually nice. The outside looks like shit. I wonder if they did that. I wonder if they did that to be like. Thank you, Jenga Meebles with the 10 gifted subs. <laughs> the outside literally looks like steak headquarters, and I think they did that so that people don't like try to fucking Head you know break in. Where you would Prime, put your so dining table, okay. and you would look out at your other island, P Island. It's absolutely spectacular. You also to ward off Long pirates That's to keep awesome. pirates at bay. How many bedrooms and bathrooms? Unintended. That's like a total it's a question I always ask that I totally forgot because I'm like, how big is the island? Yes. Um, so it's four bedrooms, okay. two baths. The master bedroom has its own bath. Sure. And then there's a shared bath off of all of these main rooms. Got it. Everything is on one level. Sure. And uh, except for the media room, which is just down a few steps. We've got hurricane shutters that are automatic that will come down if oh, wow. there's a storm. So it's... it's. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that doesn't matter, okay? I'm sorry. But I'm pretty sure hurricane shutters are not going to save you in the instance of a hurricane. Hope you've been well for very obvious for reasons. It's also kind of like hurricane a panic resistant. house. It is a little bit like a panic house. It would be crazy to be on this island in the middle of a hurricane. Yes, I bet that would be great. Yeah. Maybe we can arrange. I bet it. that would be great. Oh my God, she's like, shut the fuck up, Sir Hant. That's the reason why I can't sell this fucking house. I thought you're supposed to be the best real estate agent in New York. I didn't realize that meant immediately targeting the worst aspects of the fucking house. That. That's not, but yeah, that would be crazy. Like you do think about it, right? Anytime there's anything near the water, even in New York City, anytime I'm showing any- Bro, some shutters can withstand multiple RPG shots. Yeah, except here's what the shutters can't withstand. Okay, the fucking like water levels raising. Just even by a little bit. Naya, Naya. The surge, which would unironically destroy the house in its entirety because the water level would rise and then your house would be fucked. Anything by the water, people bring it up. What flood zone are Bro, you it in? It's a, load? it's a thing. Right. The and flood zone right. here is probably- Guys, that's not a fucking, it's not a ship, chat. It's an island. Let's go. <laughs> My man said, bro, it float. A, a plus floods, like number one. Right. During Sandy, um, right. The flood zone here is probably a, a plus floods, like number one. Right. During Sandy, um, the storm surge was at 12 feet, I believe. Yeah. Uh, this first finished floor is 19 feet above sea level. Oh. And with the hurricane shutters the and the waterproof today, windows and doors, they really were forward thinking in their yeah. renovation. Awesome. What? And then this you left unfinished. I don't believe that, dude. I just don't believe that you would be fine if this happened. Yes. I, I think so that's a lie. if the buyer chooses to add something different, yeah. you know, um, I think she's being weasley so. as fuck right now. Yeah, she's so being a weasley your TV over here. This is your media room, game room, hangout space. Yes. It's really cool. Like, this is going to be some tech artist hedge fund person that just really always wanted, like, their own private island. Like, what's that quote? Like, no man is an island, except for the man that buys this place. <laughs> that guy's gonna go out to dinner and be like, actually, no, I, I have my own island. Um, it's right over there, you can see it from New York City. Crazy. What is this? This is a ship's door. Whoa. It's a door that would be used in a ship. It's blast proof and fireproof, and there are... Why it's not pre-furnished? Gonna be two million just to transfer furniture? Yeah, exact. Oh yeah, you're right. Four ship stores here uh, at one Columbia Island. What's in the basement? Uh, two diesel generators. 
the reverse osmosis desalination system yeah. and backup solar batteries. Oh my God, I forgot that osmosis, like you need a fuckload of, you need a fuckload of fuel just to, that's not exactly self-sustaining, is it? I totally forgot. Which store all of the... And all the bad bus. kids. All the bad kids from Westchester. This is basically Australia. It's blast-proof, fireproof, not waterproof. Yeah, you're fucked. For New York, you know, the way Australia, you know, with London. Anyway, you know, whatever. Okay. Okay. Cool. Whoop. The shower has... I'm willing to bet that this house was renovated after Sandy. And the reason for why they were renovated after Sandy was because this was under fucking water. I don't, I don't believe her. Did he break the door? What a Has a little view. What a savage. The views in this house are outstanding. I mean, there yeah. There are views from everywhere. You have water on all 12 sides of this house. Each of the bedrooms has its own door to the outside. Okay. So that's really nice for guests. You can always escape to your dinghy. That's right. So this is the master. And then through here, we have the door to the exterior. Okay. I mean, rich people have too much money, dude. I could see someone buying this just for fun for like, you know, until the next hurricane. They just spend, they just drop 13 fucking big ones on it. 13 big buckaroonies. It's just funny because a real estate agent has given up. Like, you know she knows that you can't sell this. As well as the walk-in closet or dressing room. Nice. With exposed brick again. Okay. Wait, was that a drain? Huh. The exterior. Why is there a floor drain? This is the master and- In the bedroom. That's kind of weird. I wonder what the purpose of that is. There's drains throughout the entire fucking house, dude. And then through here, we have the door to the exterior. Okay. As well as the walk-in closet or dressing room. Nice. Bro, that's literally, uh, that's a murder room. I just realized. Yeah, they have a fucking drain for, to drain out the blood when you do murder in your murder room, dog. Oh my God. With exposed brick again. Okay. And then we have the master, master bath. bath. Pretty. How tall is Mr. Sutton? I'm not sure. This is, this is. He's pretty tall. Really? Yeah. Sure. Okay, so now we got the roof. Coming in and out of every door. Oh, now. Wow. Whoa. So that's your electricity right there. He's Wait. <laughs> okay, bro, have you ever fucking seen the Pixar movie Up? Once the sea level rises, they'll just fucking activate the fucking balloons and hitch out of there. This is a great comment, dude. Seagulls have names. Dude, look how ugly it is from the outside, dude. It's fucking hilarious, this house. Steve. I can't tell him apart. Steve. No, he doesn't respond to Steve. Cool. Execution Rocks over there is a lighthouse. It's called and Execution Rocks. That's right. The story. Wow. What an inviting and welcoming name for one of your neighboring islands. He goes that uh, you would take your pirate out there or your criminals and chain them to the rocks at low tide. And when the tide came That's in. Why are you telling this while you're trying to sell the house, dude? Hey, you know that like the tide kills people here? People used to get murdered right down the street. <laughs> right down the water, <laughs> the street, lol. People used to get murdered right down the water. It's literally to do with slavery. Oh. When you're a liberal. Designed and built by Alexander Paris, six story, 70 foot. Wait, what? 
hassle. When slave-owning settlers of Sands Point disputed troublesome slaves by chaining them to the rocks during high tide to let them drown. Wow! That's really interesting that she said criminals. I guess the, the slaves that were troublesome were doing a crime. And pirates. She said pirates and criminals. Mm! Dude, this house will never be sold. I don't know how the fuck someone bought this. It would do them in. That's awful. It was like eight-year-old kids. They're going to Pea Island right now. This is the other neighboring like, island? I didn't know that Two that's something. like our property. Should we Wait, like, this put is... a big no trespassing sign out there? Like, we could. The we could. What the fuck? The island's first public use was a training round for United States colored troops in 1864. Since then, Hart Island has been the location of a Union Civil War prison camp, a psychiatric institution, and to... What the fuck? Bro, why would you buy? Dude, that's like Shutter Island, dude. This is like some fucking Leonardo DiCaprio shit, dude. Access to the island was restricted by the Department of Correction, which operated infrequent ferry boat service and imposed strict visitation quotas. Burials were conducted by inmates from the that's nearby that's Rikers that's Island Jail. Oh my God. Oh my God. The remains of more than 1 million people are buried on Hart Island, though since, first, since the first decade of 21st century, there are fewer than 1,500 burials a year. Dude, Happy birthday, fuck Hassan. that, dude. I don't believe in ghosts, but my God, dude, if there are ghosts on this planet, they would be right there. That's the, that's the fucking stomping grounds of all the ghosts. Holy fucking shit, that entire... They buried COVID. Oh, that's where the mass COVID graves were? Oh my God, stop. Stop, okay, okay, let's just get back to this. They, uh, they may tie up to that mooring. Yeah. That mooring belongs to human. They think Yaku. like in my, in my apartment in Soho, like all of a sudden a bunch of like eight year olds show up with <laughs> like their scooters in my living room. Like I just don't know. Wait, so let me get this straight. You get two private islands, one house that's almost 6,000 square feet, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, seven acres of waterfront frontage, solar panels. Have you seen that lake they built over black people's graves? People drown there literally like every day and it's full of dead bodies. What? Panels, totally self-sustaining, killer seagulls, oyster-carrying birds, your own boat, your own barge, your own private dock, and the ability to say that you own your own private island in New York City for $13 million? Yes. <gasps> okay. And that's the end of the tour. Patty, thank you so much. Thank you are you. awesome. Greatest real estate broker ever. Nice to me. This is the coolest thing Damn that I've ever, 16, ever seen. If you I didn't even like it. He's such a liar.